Hey guys, we're outside now. So as you know, I got like three boxes today. Um, two Lucky Tackle boxes and of course the Mystery Tackle box. Now you didn't think that I wouldn't open one of these doing something wild and crazy, right? So um, I still have a few firecrackers left from um, New Year's Eve. So I kind of squeezed one in there. We're gonna see if this firecracker will open up this box. So, uh, let's find okay, out. guys, let's give this a try. Yep, we got her open. All right, guys, uh, this is Francis again. This is uh, box number three. Um, this time it's the Mystery Tackle Box Pro. And as you notice, you can actually open these boxes up with firecrackers. I don't recommend it, but um, it, it, it works, okay? So anyway, it's actually a pretty heavy box. I mean, it must uh, uh, put a lot into this this time around. Uh, let's open it up and we'll do some more box talk, okay? Um, open it up. Wow. Um, you know, remember how they used to have all that confetti? I guess being around Valentine's Day, they got all this uh, candy stuff. I mean, you know, the sweetheart stuff. Uh, let's read one of them. Um, I don't know. What's this one say? Yes? All right, well, anyway, let's see what's going on here. Um, first, we want to find those cards, right? Let's see. Oh, you're fine with all that confetti candy in there. Well, this is kind of neat. Haven't found the card yet, but. Um, See this? You know what this reminds me of? You know, um, a couple of videos ago, I went to um, um, Walmart to buy a bunch of saltwater stuff, and they had these bait bikes that you break off. I think that's what it is. Let's see. We uh, um, rip it open here, and let's see if we break it open. Yeah, it looks just like that bait bike stuff. Um, so you tear some of the stuff off and you put it on your uh, your hook, right? And uh, well, kind of tastes like bubble gum. So this is bait bite bubble gum that I got. Hopefully you guys got some of that stuff. Um, here we go. Here's our first bait. It's a Lucky Craft. It's kind of neat. It's a shad looking thing. What does it say here? Um, pearl thin. Thread fin shad. And uh, so it's a lucky crap, one of those premium baits. That's a good deal. Um, I like it. In fact, I probably, I may already have it, I don't know. But anyway, uh, we'll move on. Excuse me while I get, while I get this bait bite stuff out. Um, anyway, oh, here's the cards. Well, we get a sticker. Here's a new one. So I imagine they're going to probably turn this uh, design into a, a t-shirt. So you might want to get on their website and uh, see if they have a, a t-shirt with one of these on. Uh, it looks like a uh, bass on a high performance uh, bass boat. Just uh, having fun. Okay, so uh, yeah, here's the, uh, the Dibble Digest. I haven't even taken a look at it. Let's just thumb through it really quick. Best ways to uh, do a jerk bait. Um, that's one article. Um, 
crankbaits 101. All right, so you can um, learn more about your crankbaits. And um, let's see, why you should be begging more covers for strikes. So that's a good article there. So, you know, there's usually a bunch of good, well, well you know, a few. It's not a really thick magazine. Um, go slow with bluegill, okay? So that's the Dibble Digest, something to look forward to. And finally found the bait card. Even though I already did the, uh, the shad thing. Let's see what else. Um, the Bandit 100. Let's see if I can find that. Ah, here it is. Let's see, can we focus in? Come on, please, camera. Uh, let me take it out. Um, it looks like a, all right, it says it dies between two and five feet. It is kind of square billish. And um, hopefully I don't stick myself on one of these hooks. And hopefully the camera, there we go. Again, this kind of reminds me of the, the wiggle wart, but instead of a regular bill, this has like a, um, almost a, um, um, a square bill to it. So what did I say it dives to? Uh, two to five feet. So we'll go ahead and put, and I like the color. It's kind of a, well, you got black on, on the back of it, but it's kind of a golden copper. So um, it's one of the, good natural colors. Oh, wow. Thank you, uh, Mr. Tackle Box. A nice scented Valentine's Day candle. Guys, it's just like Christmas time. You know, I got all those extra stuff. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, hatch and spin. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard about these. Uh, here it is. The Lake Fork guy has been uh, talking up a storm about this. I don't know whether it was on the uh, Mr. Tackle Box channel or his channel, I can't remember. If I find it, I'll go ahead and put the link below. And uh, let's see, I got the spawner color. So let's take a look. And um, in fact, you know, this is one of those baits that I'll go crazy on. You've heard me talk about, I do this uh, um, Tackle box stuff, Mystery Tackle Box, Lucky Tackle Box, it helped me budget what I do because I go a little too crazy. But when I find something I like, like one of these things, and I hear a lot of you know pros talk about how their success, I'll go crazy and get on Tackle Warehouse and uh, buy a bunch of them. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put um, Lake Fork Guy's link that he talks about this on. And it's, what it is is a leaded, I mean, it feels like lead, okay? But it looks like a crankbait, a lipless crankbait, obviously. Has this tail spin, and um, the treble hook is on the bottom. And so I've heard two ways of uh, fishing this. Number one, like a, uh, a spoon. You know, you look on your electronics or your graphics and, and kind of fish it like a spoon. But Lake Fork guy was saying, fish it like a regular crankbait and our lipless crankbait. So, um, so I'm kind of excited to try this out and I'll probably be buying some more of these. So Tackle Warehouse, watch out. So we'll put that aside. Um, what else? Oh, wow. Another Valentine. Can you read that? It says, I'm Totally yours. Toad, toad, get it? All right. <laughs> All right, so let's see what, what's the next bait here. Um, the straight wild worm. Okay. Must be this one. Okay, soft bait. Um, let's open it up. There's no crazy smell, but it is black with a blue flake, good color, and it is one heck of a worm. Almost, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the shape of the tail and how it would fall. I'm trying to imagine in my head what it's doing in the water. Whether, uh, you know, I see Texas rigging this thing, 
um, Big Tom and um, perhaps uh, some kind of, uh, I think it's too long to put on a, 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 j a trailer for a jig, um, but oh, what am I thinking of? Maybe, I'm not quite sure. Maybe, oh, a shaky head, that's what I'm thinking. And I don't know whether this floats or not. If it does, you know, with the shaky head weight down here, it'll be doing this thing as you go along the way and the little tail just wiggles around. I'm thinking that, you know, if you do Texas rig, it's gonna do some wild and crazy stuff here with that tail. And, um, you know, I would do, uh, I'm thinking weighted Texas rig, okay? And that's just my opinion. We'll get this out of the way. Um, and you know, shortly, I'm sure Mr. Tacklebox is gonna come up with some videos on their on the YouTube site that shows you how to do all this stuff. So we'll wait and see what they they uh, show. Um, oh, golly, it just doesn't stop. I get another Valentine from Mr. Tacklebox. You, you're okay officially mine. Can you read that? You're officially mine. Yeah, probably because um, I'm subscribed, so I'm there, right? What's the next one? Um, Swagger Worm by Buddha Bates. All right. I've received quite a few Buddha Bates. I can't find Buddha Bates in this area, whether it's Walmart, Bass Pro Shop, or Cabela's, or whatever. Um, so this is about the only way I can um, get new baits like this. And like I said earlier in previous videos, these boxes are not only a way for me to budget uh, me buying stuff, because I get a little too crazy sometimes, but also to learn about new baits, stuff I can't get, try it out, challenge yourself. So um, it's kind of neat. It's ribbed, again, green pumpkin, but it has like a black flake in, in it. And I would again, you know, Texas rig it, um, also Carolina and Mojo, and you could also do a uh, wacky rig. But uh, again, I haven't played around with this, see if it floats or not. And it looks like you can um, break this tail here, and then once you do that, it'll give it a lot more action. So, um, and it smells like garlic. I mean, it's, it's, it stinks of garlic. So we'll put that away because uh, I'm not really interested in Italian food right now. Oh, and if I can smell it, I'm all stopped up. I'm still with this cold. Um, so we have one more last thing here. What is it? Uh, big mouth tube bait hook. All right. Uh, by Mustad. Here you go. And um, it says uh, size is too off, but with that size, I think it's fine for, um, you know, both these baits, you know, the big old long wild thing. And what was that other? I don't know what I did with it. Um, the Buddha bait. Golly, I lost this. Oh, here it is. So I think this will work out just fine with this. So usually when they give you um, some soft baits, they usually sometimes give you these hooks to go along with it. So that's the end of uh, my three boxes, bar, uh, unboxings that, uh, that I have. And I uh, hope you guys have a good Valentine's Day. And until then, we'll see you next time around. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.